is this? Not to see her. Some work of that damn custodian. No, no. Something else. A sentient thing. We bled ourselves in search of you. Yet here, at the end of all things, you have found us. Sought, but did not see. Or perhaps, I refuse to see. Years of reflection have laid bare miracles in my mind that I never dreamed possible. Yet some things remain out of reach. Tell me, my world, precious Nerud, what has become of it? And yet you commune with me now through the speaker's pulpit. Pray tell me, how did you come by this world? No, 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 do not answer. I see it now. At the edge of my mind. But, but, but I dare not know it. You and I share this much in common then. We are cut off from our people, and we share a similar end. Mine lies in Alepsis Tora, while yours... <laughs> no. To speak it is to change it. Already it shifts. Rest assured. Our fates bind us together. So I ask a favor, and will offer one in return. On the surface of this world lie several chambers that were shielded, as I was, from the cruelty of Alepsis Tora. These chambers bear the soul sparks of the Drazir, our last remaining legacy. Find them, and bring them to me. But not here, not to this contemptible chamber in which you now reside. You must find me in the flesh. My temple can be found within the wastes above. Look for the all-seeing eye of the astropaths. Bring me the soul sparks, and we will speak further. Excellent. Know that the fate of the Drazir rests on your shoulders.
More bad news. Nerud spent eons searching for life, yet now of all times you come to Nerud on your own. I have much I wish to know, but there is a more pressing task at hand. I need your help. I am the custodian, placed by the Drazir to manage and care for Nerud. One task yet remains to me, but an obstacle stands in my way. I believe you may be the solution to this obstacle. The obstacle is known as Talratha. He possesses knowledge that I require in order to save Nerud and what remains of the Drazir. Against all reason, he opposes what I am trying to do. I cannot act without him, but I must act. I need you to find him, extract his echo, and return it to me. Unfortunately, there is only one way. You will have to dispose of Talratha. There is no other way. He has chosen his life above all others, forcing me to make a difficult decision. Unfortunately, I cannot reach him. Only you can. To save Nerud, you will have to end his life and take the echo of his mind. Perhaps. But extreme measures are all that remain. I have spent centuries pursuing another recourse. This is the only path I have left. Talratha keeps himself locked within his chamber. The only thing he has is his ambit ember. It is what keeps him alive. This, then, will aid you. It is poisoned. Not strong enough to finish the task, but it should weaken him enough to make it easier. I will answer as best I can. Our goals are well aligned, for Talratha has survived Alepsis Torah and the intervening centuries. He is certainly a being of such power. This is Nerud, the home and stellar conveyance of the once great Drizir. It was created to find other life in the universe. Unfortunately, it found none. Until you came, of course. Our journey brought us here, to Alepsis Torah. 
the Drazir studied the phenomenon for many, many years. Within it, they found the secrets of creation itself. Naturally, the Drazir wished to enter the phenomenon, to meet their creator, as it were. Sadly, that turned out to be more dangerous than was calculated. That is a tragic story, I am afraid. But I will oblige. The Drazir wanted to enter Alepsis Tora. It was the only way that remained for them to acquire the knowledge they needed. They did not do so blindly. They knew the risks, but all calculations showed success as a strong likelihood. What actually happened to the Drazir was unexpected. Before Nerud entered, the star still burned. But time moved slowly within Alepsis Tora. Only a century passed for Nerud. Outside, the universe died its long, slow death. Survival was the statistically likely outcome for all. What happened to the Drazir was an anomaly. A few made shelter in a chamber of Talrotha's design. He did not agree with the decision to enter Alepsis Tora, and so he made preparations against it. That proved prudent. I do not know what happened to the others that were with him. I can only assume they are dead. Talrotha alone remains, against all odds to the contrary. To navigate the ship, I already have access to Nerud's core, but I need the proper information in order to jump the ship safely to its destination. Into Alepsis Tora. It is the only course of action that remains. If I jump into Alepsis Tora without the proper navigational data, Nerud will certainly perish. If I do not jump, Nerud will ultimately perish anyway. There is only one plausible solution. It is a supermassive black hole unlike anything else we have encountered. It may seem counterintuitive, but my calculations are without error. This is the only logical course of action, and the only way to save the Drazir. There is no need for worry. Nerud has entered Alepsis Tora once before and survived. It is the Drazir that needs saving. Put simply, yes, but it is quite a bit more complicated than that. I cannot save the Drazir without Talrotha's aid, but he will not help me. Talrotha is what is known as an astropath. They have been trained to perceive the stellar currents allowing them to chart impossibly complex paths extemporaneously. Even the most powerful machine cannot perform the calculations necessary. It is much more than information I need. It is Telratha's very essence. There is no other possibility. If the Drazir can be saved, it is within Alepsis Tora. You and I are all that exists out here. Everything else must exist in there. Seek out Talratha. Bring me his echo.
Okay, this is it. <laughs> 